Yo, what is up fools, and today I'm bringing you another review. Today for y'all I'm reviewing my Plant Audio Amplifier. You can buy this amplifier online for around $175, but I actually got it whenever I bought my truck, it came with it. This amp from Planet Audio has 1600 watts and runs 4 channels. I've had this amp running for about 2 months now, and so far I've been doing pretty good. On the amp, I'm running one 800 watt 8 inch sub, and a 360 watt 6.5 inch speaker. Just like any other amp, you have to have a spot to hook up the 12 volt power wire, the ground wire, and the remote wire. But I am going to complain that this way of connecting the wires to the amp is really annoying compared to different models. The amp has two 25 fuses to help protect it. Next to the fuses are the speaker connections. Here we have four channels to connect to the speakers. Each channel has its own positive and negative to hook up a speaker and run under 400 watts. But now I may have confused you since earlier I said that I have an 800 watt 8 inch sub. Well this is where your bridge mode would come in. To use bridge mode you connect the positive from the first channel and the negative to the second channel or the positive from the third channel to the negative on the fourth channel. Using bridge mode allows you to connect a speaker that needs more power because it takes power from two channels instead of one. On the other side of the amp you have inputs. You can use either high level inputs or RCA cables. Then you have the settings. There are two different rows. One row controls channels 1 and 2 and the other controls channel 3 and 4. For the settings you have a sensitivity switch, gains knob, high pass, low pass knobs, and a switch for controlling high pass, full pass, or low pass. You also have one bass boost knob that goes up to plus 18 dB and those are all the settings the amp has. Now there is a spot to plug in a remote subwoofer level control which I do not have sadly but I am planning on buying one. And finally you have the lights. One green light is for power. If the amp is powered up and working this light will be green. If the red protection light is on this means that something is shorting out somewhere and you will need to check your connections. Now that is all for connections, knobs, switches, and lights. Now moving on to the way it looks. On the top it says Planet Audio and shows their logo which looks pretty good. Under it it has a black screen that says Anarchy in blue when the amp is turned on. Next to it it says 1600 watts. So if you ever forget how many watts it is, you can just look right there and it says it. I don't really know how to explain the sides, so I'll just let you see for yourself. The last thing I have to show you is the wiring diagrams on the bottom. And there are two of them for both sides. So that really is all I have to talk about. And overall, I really like the amp. I haven't had any troubles with it, and it looks really good. So if you're looking for an amp with these features, then I would recommend it to you. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope this video helped you with any decision making. Or anything like that. And I'll see you all in the next video.